is a short story that uh, is written in the third person, uh, past and present tense, which writers tend these days to call continuous. Aging gracefully. The days seemed longer now, although the years passed by ever more quickly. His friends had dwindled to a few acquaintances, living in the same part of the town. He was old, older than he cared to consider. Childhood friends had departed life in a variety of ways, some under bizarre circumstances, others as parts of their bodies had become diseased or just worn out. One good friend, he recalled, had been drowned while shooting rapids on a tributary of the Yellowstone River. Another had been decapitated together with his long-term girlfriend when they'd been passengers in a bus that skidded over a precipice just outside his hometown. But most had just worn out as the sands of time had caught up with them. Lloyd felt he was the only one left of his generation. He was really very old. He couldn't recall how many summers and winters he'd experienced, but everyone he now met or passed the time of day with was significantly younger than him. He wondered why he had lived so long. Surely there was a reason. In his studies as a physicist early in life, he had concluded that life was not a chance thing, that there was a meaning to it. But what? As the years had passed, he had lost interest in science and grown more towards the arts. He'd begun to write poetry and even short stories which had ameliorated the increasing feeling of loneliness. On this day he'd been sitting in the local municipal garden, pondering on his amazing fitness and his body strength, which seemed almost as good now as in his younger days. In fact, he'd never suffered a broken limb or a significant muscle strain nor any ligament damage, in spite of playing rugby and cricket into his late forties, most of the time not disclosing his actual age. But now he was so bored with life. As he sat back, he dozed and began to dream. The scene was vivid, sharp and soothing. A lady sat alongside said, You've led such a good life, never speaking untruthfully, never misleading, always caring for others more than yourself. This is why you've lived so long. You're an ambassador for the ideal human condition, and we want you to continue into the future. But Jinx for that was the name he'd always been known by from his early school days, heard himself saying, I'm so tired and fed up. I feel I've done everything I want to do. I want to go now. The lady smiled and nodded. Her eyes conveyed deep sorrow, but also understanding. Lloyd, Jinx, awoke and stretched, feeling more refreshed than he had done for ages. He recalled the dream in great detail as he walked home, and that evening went to bed early with a sense of satisfaction in his mind. He fell into sleep almost immediately. Several weeks later, the emergency services broke into his home. The pathologist was confused. Although Jinx had departed this life a long time before, 
there was no sign of decay on the body and such a wonderful expression of joy on the face. I guess he was pleased to go. Yes, he's surely in a better, more pleasant place now. But this place too is better than when he first entered it.